Is all crypto overpriced? It's a bubble. It won't last long. Those prices are just a big joke. Did you forget what happened in 2018? Have you ever heard such remarks about crypto coins? If so, you're probably asking yourself, what if they're right and all coins are just overpriced nonsense? Well, let's try to figure this out together. Cryptocurrency price charts usually look like mountains, those high peaks and deep valleys in between. Beautiful, yeah? But wait, we aren't looking at the Himalayas. And in finance, these kinds of pictures are not really attractive. So what's the matter with crypto coins price and why can't they just slowly climb up to everyone's joy? To answer this question, we have to understand how the price of cryptocurrency is set. Where does the crypto coin price come from? Just like in the case of fiat money, crypto coins value is determined by the demand and supply. But the underlying mechanisms are different. If we're talking about the US dollar, its value is connected to the exchange rates, the value of treasury notes, and the foreign exchange reserves. None of these things exist in the crypto world. Here the meaning of supply and demand is more literal. If the supply of coins or tokens is limited and the interest in them is big, the prices will go high. Vice versa, when the supply of coins is big or even unlimited, but the interest is low, prices just can't rise over a certain number. Another basic thing which contributes to a coin's value is production cost. We rarely think about how much it costs to make a traditional coin or to print a paper banknote with all those watermarks and security features. However, those expenses have to be included in the final price. The same thing with crypto money. When a coin mining is expensive, it reflects on the price. If those factors were the only ones to influence cryptocurrency values, prices would be at least roughly predictable. As you know well, that's rarely the case. Why? The answer lies in the crypto market rules. Young, unstable, profitable. We all know that the crypto market is immature, but how does this affect coin value? Immaturity means lack of expertise, problems with the general public's understanding, no regulations, and relatively small number of use cases. All these factors lead to uncertainty. Uncertainty, in turn, leads to manipulations and price volatility due to the fact that cryptocurrencies strongly depend on interest in them. How exactly can a coin price be manipulated? It can be done in a few different ways. 1. Media coverage Potential investors with no expertise in the crypto field tend to look for information on subject-specific forums and websites. With a few moles posting here and there, it's quite easy to stir up interest for a certain coin. Other way around, when scandal or even a hint of scandal, some bad rumors and negative opinions can drop the prices drastically. 2. Pumps and Dumps By creating shortages of a cryptocurrency on several exchanges, some investors artificially make the coin more rare and therefore more valuable. When the price is high enough, they sell their coins and the prices go deep down. 3. Regulation Attempts They aren't strictly manipulative tactics, but they definitely can change the picture. Every time a government tried to put its hands on the crypto market, this caused a price fall. China seems to have a habit to ban some crypto sectors every couple of months. Considering the market growth, we have no doubt that more and more countries will try to control what's going on in the crypto world the prices won't stay indifferent. Well, looks like all those prices are really unstable. Why should anyone consider investing in something so unpredictable? Firstly, a volatile and turbulent market is risky, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, isn't it? Crypto market has disappointed many. Still, it also made a lot of people rich. Secondly, take a look at the history of some popular coins. Bitcoin went from less than one cent to five-digit numbers. Ether's initial price was a little less than $3. Now it's over $2,000. Even the owners of a joke currency, Dogecoin, had their profit. There were big, enormous falls, but in the long term, a lot of crypto coins tend to gain value. Thirdly, not all coins are likely to suffer from price volatility. Stable coins were invented to protect investors from sudden changes. Is there a way to find out if a coin's price is fair at the moment? One method is to check the node count. Node count reflects the number of active wallets on the cryptocurrency network, thus showing the real interest in this particular coin. 
If you're interested in a new project's coin, you'd better do your own research to evaluate the project's viability and perspectives. Some use complex methods such as technical analysis or price prediction models built on machine or deep learning. But the tricky part of the crypto coin's fair price is that tomorrow it could be three times bigger or smaller. However, it would still be fair. So have you already guessed how to answer the initial question? I think you did. Not every crypto is overpriced. Moreover, some coins have not yet reached their fair price. Other crypto are tightly connected to external assets and are supposed to stay stable through all the jumps and falls. But the main point is that no matter what others say, you should always use your critical thinking and double check the information to make the best decision. That's all for today's video. I hope you find it interesting and helpful. Let me know what you think about the cryptocurrency prices in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos.